Do you think men are insecure for caring about a woman's body count, starting with you? Um, are insecure for caring? Yeah, do you think men are insecure if they care about a woman's body count? Um, I think it would stem from insecurity, but everyone's like allowed to have their own preferences. Hmm. It would stem from insecurity, but okay. I think that's subjective um, because if you have someone that's just going to sleep with anyone due to attraction, there's no saying like, are they going to do that if they're in a relationship with you, if their body count is high. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't think it's insecure? And also, just, I, th I think it's subjective. I think just it can be insecure. It it's like really depends. Let me just tack on another question to this. Does body count matter? Should body count matter? I don't know if you want to add on to that. I think that's also subjective. Like for me, I wouldn't really want to go for a guy who has a high body count because mm -hmm. that just shows me he only values if someone is attractive. And if he's just like coming to me and trying to sleep with me, then he's not actually valuing me as a person and he doesn't want to get to know me. Should so then the gal, the gal next to you who said that it was a state of insecurity, that would not apply to you? Um, I think that if as long as the person is safe and clean um and you know doesn't put you at any level of risk um and you understand your dynamic of their relationship it doesn't matter i am pro so, slut. It's just so, not so she's not she's not being insecure when she says that she would not want to have a man with a high body count right um i think that insecurity shouldn't be a negative word. Um, there's plenty of things I'm insecure about that I don't think are inherently negative. I personally would definitely be insecure if a guy had slept with 80 people, um, but it doesn't mean that I wouldn't date them or it doesn't mean that it matters to me. I think it's more so important. Does, so, okay, so the, then that means that she's insecure? Um, you know, I, I can't speak for her. From my perspective, I think it comes from a place of insecurity in worrying about um, that person only valuing you for appearance, but I don't think that in this case insecurity is a negative connotation. If I like had okay, so then that would be she's insecure, right? <laughs> How if, am I getting this wrong? If I get with someone and I have a high body count, there definitely needs to be a discussion where they show me or like tell me, hey, yeah, temptation is there, but like it's my decision to reject that. And if we have that discussion and they're mature enough to have that dis discussion, then fine. But right off the bat, if someone is just trying to sleep with me, then that just tells me that they value attraction over anything Here, else. Here, let's get everybody's answers. Go ahead. Which, which question? Both. Okay. Um, I do think body count matters, but I don't think it stems from insecurity necessarily. I think it just it just shows that they care. I think it's a form of insecurity, but like at the same time, I think that the more people that you sleep with, the more energies that you can like attract to yourself. So I'm indifferent on that one. So would you say that the gal who said that she would not want to sleep with a man with a high body count is coming from a place of insecurity then? It also comes a place from a place of danger where it's like I'm more yeah. susceptible. Oh, hang on, hang on, just let her answer. Into the mics. It comes from a place of danger where I'm no, more no, no, susceptible not you. to I'm STDs as well. Would you say that she's coming from a place of insecurity because she just said she wouldn't want to date a man with a high body count? I think it's a little bit different for women, so no, I'm of gonna course. say it's not because men are notoriously known for sleeping with a lot of women. So what? I don't think that it's insecurity. Yeah, you guys get praised for how many women you can like pull and. That's sleep because with. it's hard for men to do that. It's easy for y'all to do that. I mean, yeah, but I'm saying that's my justification of why I don't think it's insecurity for a woman. Yes, for men. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think it depends. It could come from a bunch of different emotions. Like one of them could be insecurity or it could be like a religious thing. If you're waiting for marriage, you What if they're not religious? Um, what if they're secular, I but I still they think don't want to wife up the time, town bicycle? Then I think it could be insecurity or it could it could just be moral. I mean, like we all know I have uh, morals outside of religion, so it, it could be morals. It could Let's be say he's immoral. He's immoral, then and yeah. He doesn't would, have any morals. Say, he just doesn't want to get with a promiscuous woman. Then yes, I think that would be a that form would be, of sexual insecurity. It would be sexual insecurity. Yes. So would it be sexual insecurity for a man to not want to date a woman who fucked a guy yesterday? Hmm. Like date her immediately? Because I feel like have if you just sex if you, with her immediately, date her that's immediately. That's not dating. I mean, if you won't have sex with someone because they had sex with someone, like you won't have casual sex with someone because they had sex with someone else yesterday, that is valid because. You, there's no way to know their STD status. Mm -hmm. Let's even assume. Oh, okay. Well, let's say they went and got an STD check uh, literally right away. You had the results it in your It wouldn't be valid. Hand. It would, you it, knew it takes for like sure. two weeks. 
So like, let's say someone had sex two weeks ago and they have a clean, clean bill of health. What if there's a magical mm-hmm. wand? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we can say that about anything. No, no, no. It's just, it, let's say she, she went, she had sex five hours ago, mm-hmm. but she comes to you and presents you with a clean bill of health. Then yeah, I would say it probably, and like you said, I don't That's think insecurity? it's- I don't think it's necessarily, a, I think everyone can be insecure in that way. Like, I don't want to be compared to the last person you had sex with. So then it would be insecure. I yeah. think it's subjective too. If it's I think insecure it depends, but... or if it's like controlling. Yeah, it like... could also be controlling. It, if could, it's be, like for safety, it could be misogyny. It could like be a so variety of reasons. How is it mis- how would so, it be so I just want to make sure I get this right. Mm-hmm. You have you have two kids and your son, he's 16 years old and he comes to you and he's like, hey mom, listen, I really like this girl. She just fucked a guy 10 hours ago, but she did give me a clean bill of health. So I'd like to go have sex with her. Would you say, ah, oh, that's fine, because you don't want to be insecure? I think it's weird to talk to your mom about that. Yeah, no, I. Um, derailed. Okay. I would not. Yeah, okay, I would great, not. But let, let her answer. No, the I question, wouldn't call please. my son. I would, no, I wouldn't say it would be insecure not to do that. I would say make your, no, make your own decision. No. Be. No, I wouldn't. Oh, okay. So, so the, but, but that would be coming from a place of insecurity from your son, right? Well, I thought he wanted to have sex with her. Sure. In this if particular he, he, case, the guy wanted to have sex with her until he found out that she had sex with another person just a few hours prior. You yeah, said that was insecurity. I wouldn't tell him that if it was my son, but I think it definitely could be coming from a place of insecurity. Yeah, every person is so different. Your son's just being insecure, that little bastard. Maybe. I don't know him. I think well, everyone's... Would you say the most secure thing you could do if you really wanted to be secure in your masculinity is go rail that fucking broad that you wanted to rail who just fucked another guy 10 hours ago. You could that would be that. the most secure thing he could do. I think mm-hmm. everyone has different boundaries as well in terms of like choosing a sexual partner. Yeah, okay, that's so fine. do you agree it's wrong in the, in the opposite direction? Um, would it be okay for me to deny having sex with a man knowing that he has another sexual partner currently? Yes. Yeah. So then that's just your perspective of insecurity. But for me, I only wouldn't no, that's do not it insecurity. because I'm insecure. No, but I, I no, would only no, that's not have sex. That's no, not insecurity. I would only be wary of a body count based off of my own personal insecurity of not fulfilling the type of intimacy that they are seeking, whether they've had a lot of sexual partners due to, you know, a sex addiction or due to corn consumption or anything else. Okay. It would be hey, coming from a place of insecurity of for me personally, but I'm not saying sure. for everyone, but for me personally. I'll grant all of that as being true, and I'll ask you the same exact question. Your 16-year-old son comes to you, and let's say he's 18, and he says, I really like this girl, and I really wanted to rail her, but you know, Mom, she fucked another dude 10 hours ago, mm-hmm. and that just kind of grosses me out. That would be him being insecure? Um, I would say if you really like her and you're willing to have an open conversation with her about exclusivity or not continuing that, um, then you should. But if it's something that makes you feel insecure, which I think if there's no risk, um, no risk of STDs, no risk of anything. It's just other- gross. I mean, it's to, to me, gross. to me, it's gross. But I think it comes from a place of insecurity. What's what's the difference between having sex yesterday and me having sex two years so, ago? So then, so then, what if what if, I, that what if someone had a body direction? count of eighty but hasn't had sex hey, in ten hey, years? Okay, fine. Does it that make them more pure? No, so but then backing that up the wait, hang can on, I, sorry, can I offer my direction. question? Well, you just answered. No, no, no. no. I'm offering a question. If I say hypothetically, there's a person who has a body count of 80 people, but they've been abstinent for five years. Are they less gross than a girl who has a body count of two who had sex yesterday? Yes. Because they've been abstinent for 10 years, even though their body counts 80? That's still less gross, yeah, than fucking a chick who might still have another man's jizz in her. Now, well, why are you assuming she's having unsafe sex? Going back the other direction, then, from your from your particular logic. Let's just go over your particular logic here. If that is a place of insecurity, then wouldn't it not be true that the most secure thing you could do if you liked this girl and he really wanted to rail her and she really wanted to have sex with him and he just said I was a little bit grossed out by it, the most secure thing he could do would be to have sex with her. I think the original argument was just asking if caring about body count was insecurity, which I agree with. I know what the original argument was. Can you answer my question? Yeah, I'm answering. I don't think that it's a more secure thing because it's a completely different conversation as someone having sex 
you know, a couple hours ago is a different conversation. It's gross in different count. ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's gross it's a in different, different ways. Concept. So I, I'm not saying that that is insecurity. I'm saying the original argument stems from insecurity to some level. Um, yes, but I, I think know. it's That's totally valid. And I don't think it's insecure to choose to not have, to have sex with someone who is just sexually active. Um, but I think for some people, it could be an insecurity thing. For me, it would be a hygiene okay, issue. Okay, so now we get into nuance. So let me ask you this. Why would it be insecure? If this is the case and you, they have this preference and they say no, you say that's not insecurity and it's not the most secure thing you could do to then have sex with that person. Why would it be insecure if they extrapolated that out over more time? Um, I believe the insecurity comes in the format of caring about the actual amount, quantity of sexual partners. And the only reason I have that perspective is because for me personally, it comes from a place of insecurity. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I know that you keep saying that. But yeah, but what's even still, your question? I, I still haven't actually, I still haven't gotten actually an answer to this. First, you said it was insecure of him not to do this thing from 10 hours ago. They had a clean bill of health. Then you said, no, I well, didn't. wait, it's not the most secure thing they could do. No, I, did, I, I didn't stop, say it was insecure. I didn't, okay, go but ahead you're again. telling me I we'll said something again. that I didn't it. say. And if you replayed any of what I had just said, I did not say that. I said, okay, well, then original... let me just ask you yes or no. So I'm not going to give you any loaded questions. I promise none okay, of them will be Okay, simple yes or no. Yes or no. Is it insecure if your son came to you, he's 18 years old, he said, hey, this woman I really, really, really like, really like her, she really likes me, had sex 10 hours ago, and that grosses me out, so I don't want to have sex with her. I would say that's no problem and you should wait um, and that's see. not my question is it insecure not if no not if it's a hygiene issue no okay great well okay <laughs> hygiene issue he, she has a clean be. bill of health she has a clean I told you it's baked in she has a clean bill of health there's no hygiene issue what if her pH he balance is He just is gross. Yeah. Hang on, he's he's just grossed out. I he's think, just grossed the fuck out by it. I think is that insecure that he doesn't want to hump a chick it's who's full egg. of another man's That's jizz? That's totally fine. I, I think to. this also dives into having standards. No, I think she needs to answer the question. Answer my question. Is it insecure of him to not want to do that? I already answered your question. I said no, it's not insecure of him. Yeah, but, but you I said because caring of a about, hygienic issue. It, I'm saying there's no hygiene understand. issue these, present. These, these conversations go through a plethora of different components. Did he have sex 10 hours ago? That's fucking no. disgusting. If he, didn't, if he didn't have oh. sex 10 hours ago, then huh? it is not coming from insecurity. But if he had sex yesterday huh? and he's judging her for having hmm? sex yesterday, it does come from a place of insecurity. Does that make sense? So then if he's chased and she's not chased and he doesn't want to have sex with her over a five-year plan, wouldn't that be the same exact logic applied and he's not being insecure? I have no idea what you just said. For sure. I know you don't, but I'll try it again. Okay. Assume that this is extrapolated over five years and he has chastity and she doesn't not have chastity and he finds out she's slept with 60 men. How does the same logic not apply here for his preference? Um, I think it is a different scenario. It's a yeah, different well, but it's the scenario. same logic applied to the scenario. scenario. Okay, so hypothetically, mm -hmm. as I said earlier, you said it would be better if someone had been abstinent for five years but had a body count of 80 versus someone... I didn't someone say anything who... about better. I was testing your logic. You weren't testing mine. Okay, anyways, thank you so much. Had a great night. Wait, we got more questions. We got more questions here, okay? Body count. So did we go all the way around on body count? No. no. You answered, right? I don't remember. Honestly. I think you answered, yeah, correct? So. You're too far away from the yes, mic. Yes, it does matter. It, it might be helpful if you scoot your chair into the table, but okay, what's your answer? Um, yeah, it does matter. Wait, you never, you never revealed, by the way. You are... Yes, I'm virgin, and I'm waiting for marriage. Oh, okay. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Kill of Kill cereal. Kill of cereal donated $200. Oh. A woman insecure for having a high body count while saying a guy is insecure for caring about it? What reason does woman have for jeopardizing her self-worth by whoring out to live out of her means? Anybody want to bite on that? I have a question afterwards. No. Anybody? 
No. Bueller? Bueller? It's our kill of cereal. I don't know. They don't get it. Um, okay. Nobody wants to buy it? What? Women insecure for having a high body count while saying a guy's insecure for caring about it? What reason does women have for jeopardy? Okay. Um, some of you said body count doesn't matter, shouldn't matter, whatever. Uh, what's your body count? Starting with you, go ahead. Um, under 10. Under 10. I can count it on one hand. Five. Clarify, mine includes women as well. Incl Sorry. Includes women. Do you want to give the number or? No. Under 10? Under 10. Not something I'm comfortable sharing to the internet. Rule number 76, no excuses, play like a champion. Say what you want. Under 15. Under 50? 15. Under 50? Excuse Whoa. 15. 15. Oh my god, I'm deaf. Okay. <laughs> what, what about you? One. Wait, really? Yeah. Was yeah. it good? <laughs> it didn't, it didn't have fire. It didn't happen one time, but my though the count would be one. Was that your 1.5 year relationship? Yeah. Okay. Word up. Wait, so you lost your virginity at like 21? Yeah. Oh, late bloomer. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Hey, it's fine. Late bloomers. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Why? Uh, just curious. Why did it? Uh, were you waiting for the right guy? Yeah. Exactly. Maybe I, mean, I don't know. Right woman. No, she's not interested in casual right, sex. Like. Right woman? Mm -hmm. oh, it was guy, the right guy. Guy, guy. It was a guy. It was a guy. Yeah, guy. Okay. Um, uh, you're not interested in casual sex. Did you want to wait until you were in love? Mm. Or did, did you just want the right guy? Yeah, just the right guy. Just I, the don't, right guy. I don't think it fact, like love didn't really factor into it, hmm. it as in terms of like why wait, okay. but like just not an interest in like hooking up. When you did find that right guy, like how long into the, like how long into knowing him until you guys had carnal knowledge um a couple months i think a couple months yeah okay was he also virgin or no 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 okay huh. all right uh what about you um girls four uh guy one eh, we'll do both why not how many how many ladies have you i feel like you got riz you like be just smashing all the all the birds <laughs> the ladies, the, the, oh. the ladies. Oh, you're just into the mic, though. Oh. Tell us, tell us about all the Riz adventures. Riz adventures. Yeah, you just oh. been, you, dude. You went, you ran through the girls, right? <laughs> you ran yeah. through them with your Riz, with your shades. You're just rizzing them up. Sunglasses indoors, sunglasses at night. Doesn't matter. The Riz God, the Riz King. <laughs> they give them the smolder. Right? Yeah. Bro, be honest. Yeah, like, Wait, question, just like between like, like between boys, right? Uh, like innies or outies. Wait, what? Innies or outies, what do you prefer? Innies, innies or outies, what do you prefer? Oh my gosh. Innies or outies, what do you prefer? I mean, the innie was kind of new, so. New? Yeah. What do you mean, new? What are you talking about? Are we talking about P and V? No, what, what do you, you have a penis? You have a penis? No. You have no. a penis? No. Okay, cool. Labia. Uh, wait, but labia, you, you had a preference for innies or outies? You know, like women, like straight women, y'all have preferences for penis size, right? Oh. Like you guys, sometimes you want a big peen, medium peen. I would never. Typically, you don't want a small peen. I would never mess peen. with a small peen. Wow, racist. Really? Personality first. That's racist. Yeah. yeah. Personality first. Personality first. <laughs> yeah, small peen losers. I don't fuck with them. <laughs> Yikes! You're gonna get. You're gonna get some comments for that for that one. Wait. So, what do you prefer? <laughs> well, right now, I guess. You know, you know. No, back back with the with the ladies. Um, you didn't have like, a preference? Like bottom La top? Like, no, so labia preference. No, like, do you oh, like damn. a big vagina? Do you like I don't have a big, pussy? I don't, I don't have a preference. Like l large <laughs> labia. Do you, um, like, do you like it when it's hammy? You know? Oh, I don't really have a preference. No I preference? I you didn't know. care? Okay. No, I didn't care. Right. You should pay attention great. to that probably. Okay. What about you? Oh, wait. Zero. Wait. Oh, yeah, zero body count. Zero. Are you still? I'm in a relationship. All right. They know what it is. They know what know, it is. Know. If you know what it is. Really, you don't, you, you don't like small peens? That's racist, dog. She's I'm also I'm pro lady. slut. She said. I'm pro slut. Oh my god. Damn. That shit's fucked up, man. RIP's in the chat for the boys. Okay. We pro have stochastic slut. decay here. Hey, Brian, world, word salad girl plays the victim card whenever there's pushback with a brat. Props yeah. to the other panelists for not being brats and not pouting all show. Anyway, autistic girl has 1210 glasses. Based as fuck, too. Also, hi, Gustavo. 
I apologize. It's just my face. I'm not trying to pout. I'm, you, I'm just you really just, tired. You have I think I just look like this. I you swear. Just have wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm RBF contest. Go. <laughs> into, look into this mic right here. That's a camera. Yeah. That's not RBF. That's just like scary. <laughs> I just I, I do like, have RBF and I content. apologize. I'm not at all trying to be bratty. I, I also don't think I'm I'm really trying to play the victim that, card. I'm just being a devil's advocate the same okay. way you are. Yeah, she's great. That was pretty demonic. Though I, I'll agree that, with that. Was, that, that was some, tough. That was some right. demonic that was tough. shit. Did you, that was RBF. But at least you're not a brat. Apparently, I hate brats. I know. Um, Wait, what about me though? I love you. Okay, good. Whoa. What about me though? Skin I love you too. Okay. I'm widowy or daddy. Yeah. I'm widowy daddy. What the? Okay. Some sexual did, did you um, <laughs> did you yeah. see my viral video on Times Square? No. <sighs> it's my turf. You know that one? What you're, you've got like a fetish or something. This is this is for um we, my <laughs> my big dog, my British big dog. <laughs> you know. I don't. I think but there's I'd like therapists to. for that. He taught me everything I know. Um, I no, know. so like There's I went viral therapist. in Times Square for like barking, and it was really That's funny. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. That's beautiful. What a let cool. time we live in. And then I, I was with Matthew Silver, I, and he was I, screaming at me. I made Nick a promise to not go talk about this route, but because of this panel, I just I have to. I got to talk about this. Um, and this is dating related, okay? Uh, would you object to a man not wanting to date? A trans woman, starting with you. Oh boy, <laughs> would I would like would I not date him because of that? No, no. no. Would you object to a, a man uh, oh, like, not wanting to like Gustavo here if he was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I would date a trans woman? Would you object to that? No, as long as he's not like being transphobic unnecessarily and like being unkind to trans women. If that's just like a personal preference, I think that's that's fine. Well, the the personal preference is he wouldn't. He's not being transphobic or rude or mean in any way. But he he would say essentially, I wouldn't date them because they're trans. I mean, I think it probably comes from a like a place of just like bias. But I mean, I can't say that someone needs to date someone that they're not comfortable dating. Like, okay. I think yeah, if but, they're completely post op and like completely indistinguishable, maybe I would like. Is that possible? I don't think that's possible to be 100% indistinguishable. And if they still were really opposed to it, maybe I'd question it, but no, in general, no. Well, let's, as let's assume that's the case. They've gotten surgery and they're taking hormones. They've gotten breast implants and wigs, or I don't know, the, uh, the, they got the, the bottom surgery. Mm -hmm. And then the, the man still doesn't want to date them. I mean, I still can't really object to like someone's okay. personal right. dating That's preferences, fair. you know? Going around the table on this. Um, there will be plenty of men who want to, so it's okay if some men are uninterested in that. There's so many factors that go into dating preferences, you know? Maybe their goal is biological children, and you can't do that with um, mm -hmm. a transgender individual. I think those type of dating preferences, as long as they're non-discriminatory, well, are no wouldn't problem. Wouldn't it be dis... It would be discriminatory. Yeah, but if... <laughs> discriminatory... In not in a bigotry yeah, sense. In it's okay. not in a hateful sure. way. It's just a preference. I think it's weird to tell other people what to do with their bodies and what they subject themselves to. So I agree, I agree. with Luce with what she said. No, preferences, just don't be rude. Would that include um, to the uh, to the redhead? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. Please don't hold that against me. I'm holding it against um, you. Gertrude, her name's Gertrude. Yeah, no. <laughs> Gertrude, I'm sorry. Let's call her Gertrude. I'm sorry, Gertrude. Would that include okay. unliving? They don't care if people unalive themselves because it's their body. What? Oh, Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Wait. Good night. Hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. This is actually a topic that I don't really feel comfortable talking about. I lost someone to. You can convince her, Nick. You got it. Unaliving. You can. You can um, convince her. Get her a slice of pizza. Get her a slice ago. of pizza, a C4, and some um, can I have a pizza? some uh, 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 tater tots. Okay, she'll be fine. Uh, what about your Wait, answer? Give her one of my brownies. What about your so answer? We're talking about 100% well, yeah. straight. I didn't. Diet, I, right? I honestly didn't even feel like that was a very invasive question. I I understand that you feel it's not invasive, but okay, I just personally the, lost we're someone. We're moving on. We're moving to on. Being unalive, answer the question. So. Okay. No, that's just no. I wouldn't date a trans man. Damn, that's crazy, Madison. Does that you're, make me trans? You're a fucking bigot. <laughs> then I'm a bigot. Get her some tater tots. She'll be fine. Get maybe a blanket, a oh, little blankie. Okay, get her a blanket. Get her a, some tater tots, um, mashed potatoes. Even get maybe even. Uh, oh, 
You got it. It's, it's, look at this chair. Sorry. Look wait, wait. That. I got you. Don't worry. This is. Whoa. Okay. A little okay. tension. Okay. It's okay. My my you my roommate, my roommate wait. told me to take no, you home. No. Not. Oh. What? Whoa. My roommate told <laughs> my roommate told me to, that you're my our new roommate. Whoa. Okay. Since she <laughs> loves you. Um. In my opinion. <laughs> Um, unaliving. <laughs> wait, wait, just, just don't even, don't even, don't Guys, even. Guys, that was the wait, best, that was the best was part like, of, to, of my night. Yes. That was the best what? part of my night. What was the best part of your night? My little kiss. Oh. Anyways, what I think we, to equate... Are you I guys going to smash after this? <laughs> I think to equate... Um, I think there's a little, little chemistry <laughs> here. A little chemistry. A little chemistry. I won't deny. Um, a little to, going on. to equate... <laughs> unaliving yourself <laughs> to an issue of Wait, not don't, caring don't. about oh my god don't okay go ahead <laughs> Wait, can, we, can we just move on to the next question no i'm trying to move on but Barbara, oh just... oh sorry sorry we can move on it just was it's a sensitive Wait, subject okay, for okay, me okay. it's fine it's fine okay so fine. related to the trans thing though um so okay we're still related to dating is it would it be straight god damn i promised i wouldn't even go okay oh my god I promise, Nick. I Jesus. promise. Nick. I can't believe you're breaking a promise right now. It is really hot. It is really hot. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I want to take my clothes off. Excuse me? Your excuse. Okay. Uh, that was fire. So, whatever. What the fuck? What the heck? Okay. Wow. Well, okay, should I, really should I get into voice would it, acting? Would it, be, would it be straight? For... Is it straight for a a, tra uh, a man to date a trans woman? Um, last, this is the last time I'm ever yeah. asking this question. Yeah, because it, she's like identifying as a woman in a woman's body, and it's like perceived as a heterosexual relationship. So I, w I would consider that straight. Let's get everybody's answers. I on would this. say that's okay. a trans relationship, but that's also subjective to the people, and I don't feel like I'm not a trans person, so I can't really define it myself. Word. No, biologically, that's not how it works. Not straight, okay. If she still has a penis, then no. What if there is no peen? I'd say it's pretty straight. P pretty straight, okay. Yeah, I think it's straight. S straight. What if if there's a peen? Straight? I would question a, a straight man who would have <laughs> sex with someone with a penis. I would question if they were fully straight, but if they said they were fully split. straight, then like, oh, shit. I don't know. I mean... Damn, Andrew's losing his mind over there. Okay, what about you? No. Not straight? No, not straight. Not straight, straight Maddie? Not, not straight at all. All right, not straight. So <laughs> you said straight. You said could be straight. You said straight, regardless of the Yeah, I think it's, it's straight. I, I refrain to say that I'm, I'm just not trans, so I can't like define their relationship. Um, but I also think sexuality is something that's so fluid, and like plenty of straight people experiment with you know, different types of relationships. It's not gay if it's you only suck dick. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? It's like the I song. But okay, so straight, night. it's a short form slang. Do you guys agree that straight is short form slang for heterosexual? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Sure. So how could it ever um, be heterosexual? Well, I, I, I can just ask this one question around the panel, if, you, if you'll humor me, Brian. Mm -hmm. Without using the word gender, what does the word homosexual mean? A homo. Sorry. Damn, bro. Like, <laughs> same sex, Get this same, bigot out same of here. sex attraction has nothing to do with gender, but rather sex, biological sex. I got bullied okay. in high school. I can use the slurs. It's Check okay. Some. So heterosexual so, yeah. would be based on biological sex as well. From a um, just definition standpoint, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it wouldn't be straight. Homo what, 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 is, what is the definition of homosexual cross? Across the board. A homo. Sorry, I'm tired. Same. <laughs> I'm just like in my silly same like. I mean, same, it's, it's same, same sex, sex relationship. It's same yeah. sex attraction, but if if someone transitions to the point where you perceive them to be that gender, Mama, you, you don't this. know. You got this, Nick. <laughs> you don't know. Nick. You don't know what their biological sex is. You can say that. Oh, I can always tell. Whatever. But like, if you really can't perceive their biological sex, then how can you say? It's not straight. If they don't know. What if you can perceive their biological sex? I like to think that other people's mm -hmm. relationships are none of my Yeah, no, business. no, no. Hang on. What if you can perceive their biological sex? 
What if you can? Why did? Why does it matter that much to you? You know, like I just think Truth. let these people so I'm live just their testing lives. The logic, whether it matters or not. Okay, to wait. You I, have, I have a question. Framework is relevant. I have a question. I'm just testing her logic. I know. I know you need to jump in every time I'm talking to someone else, but I'm not talking to you right now. Okay. So I'm asking. Going to ask her again. If it's okay with you, Your Majesty, if she can explain what she means when I ask her, what if you do know what her biological sex is? Well, personally. I would define it as same gender attraction, but you said we can't say gender. So I mean, like, yeah. in that case, I guess it. I mean, if we have to strictly go based off sex, then no, it wouldn't be heterosexual. But that's not how I view same sex attraction. And is gender a social construction? Tilted down. Sorry. Wow, it takes fucking three women to do that. Oh my god. At is least we can change a, a light bulb. Construction? Put our brains together. Sorry, what'd you say? Is gender a social construction? Um, yes. I don't think. And did we agree earlier that social constructions don't actually exist in material reality? Yeah, so then I mean, does heterosexuality exist? Does homosexuality exist? Like, I don't well, know. yeah, those are biological terms. For instance, if you were to determine that two animals were homosexual animals, how would you do so? If we determine how they, by like biological sex, because animals don't have gender. Oh, like, by bio and are, are human beings animals? Yes. Oh, well, then I guess we can determine who's a homosexual and who isn't. We just have like a we higher can in every other animal, level. can't we? I mean, you could say that, but I mean, still, like, in, in experience, people who identify as straight can date trans people and still identify as straight. Like, you but, can tell them that they're but not. You're but... identifying based on a social construction, correct? Yeah, and they're, and and they're attracted to the social construction reality. of someone so, else's gender. I don't know. So, so, how would you identify if two elephants were engaged in a homosexual act? I would identify their their penises, their P in in P in B. Excuse me. It seems like it's pretty simple, right? And we're animals just like elephants. Well, right? yeah, but we have elephants can't do social constructs. We can, so it's a little yes, more nuanced. Yes, that's right. But social cons constructs don't exist in material reality. Remember? I didn't say that. Those are that shit we just make up. It's a little more nuanced for humans, I think. I think if someone says they're straight and they want to die on that hill, then. So be it. They're straight. I can't tell them they're not. Yeah, but why not? Because I have no if interest in If it just means heterosexual that. or opposite sex, we do know what that means. I... If you were to identify that two elephants were heterosexuals, what would you be looking for? I already said what I'd be looking for. I'd be looking for that their biological sex, but we're not elephants. And why is it that that does not apply to humans just because they claim the opposite of what is reality? Because humans are not elephants. We have minds that can construct things like gender and gender identity. Gender yes, identity. we can construct these things which do not exist. However, what you, is the Wait, you think gender identity matter? doesn't exist why at all? Is it, why is it that if two elephants had sex with each other, you could say it's homosexual or heterosexual, or heterosexual sex based on the sex, but for some reason you can't make that determination with humans? Because we're not elephants, and we actually do have gender identities, and... If you look at someone and they... It's an identity. It does not I have a exist question. absent the mind. What about people that are born intersex or um, both gendered, which is a, yes, we can a engage relative majority of dynamics. our population, like, and they mm -hmm. choose to transition to one or the other, so biologically they are technically both. Um, say I was born let's intersex. Hey, would I not be in a straight? Thing. Would I not be in a straight relationship if I me, was intersex and dated it. a man? Let me just grant for a second that intersex people are a third sex. Sure. Ninety-nine percent of transgender people do not identify, and nor are they intersex. So this would still be begging the question, even if I granted to you that there was a third sex, which there isn't. But I just assumed that there was, based on intersex dynamic. Ninety-nine percent of trans identity do not come from intersex sure. biology. So we're. How would you discuss um, the double allele theory? So the double X, double Y chromosome that exists biologically. Um, it's been linked to um, homosexuality as well as being transgender. People born with double X or double Y chromosome um, are Those physically would be more feminine. No, actually, there are people who are not born intersex that do carry um, more male bi biology or more female biology. A perfect example is Castor Semenya, um, biological female track and field runner. Uh, Let's world... just grant all of that. What is the percentage of trans people who hold such conditions? 
Um, I I would love it to would be, a be very more low educated. Percentage, yes. No, but my my point is she's a no, biological is, female is who I'll is more it. genetically male. I'll mixed. just grant all He's of grand. the outliers. He's I will totally just grant that, that I am right all the time, and that women have no perspective of the trans community and can uh, have uh, no uh, input. I'm granting your argument. And then think about zebras, guys. I'm literally granting have your argument. Have you ever thought I'm about zebras? Zebra. Zebra. You can't even see the, the zebras. They blend together. Who? Shut I've never the thought. Fuck up. That was that was so sorry. That was that was Nick back there. So let's let's try this again. Sorry, that I'm was granting Nick. everything you're saying as true, which is still sorry. irrelevant to my argument. Can we talk about so, something else? So assuming for a second like that, let's say it's, let's say it's 20% of trans people Switch have question. an intersex condition, Why are you so obsessed with trans people not, not being listening. able to identify as they want to? Trans people can just like exist and that's okay. Let them live their Who lives. Who cares? I'm trying. Well, I care. Or Why? Be asking. Wait, no. I, I, I have an actual question. If a guy says he's straight, but he's fucking a trans woman... And that makes him gay in, in your mind. Like, why does it bother you that he is falsely identifying as straight? You're co opting. No, wait, wait. no, I'm genuinely. I'm actually curious w why it's a w problem. W Andrew, take that's, the L. that's actually awesome that you just said. Why does it bother you that he falsely identifies? Yeah, in, in your logic, it's false because we're elephants and we can Change only it. identify based on right. biological sex. Well, why, is because a, homo, yeah. homo why is that a problem? 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 Meaning is what? Okay. I'm, no, I'm saying if it is false, according to you, I'm I'm granting mm -hmm. you that it's false. Why is it a problem sure. that someone is? Because like because I personally a, like well, I'm bisexual. I didn't know that I'll for a explain, long time. So so I'll explain why. Okay. Uh, besides my epistemology saying that it's immoral from the Christian ethic, let me also reiterate that it is a lie. And so if unless you're saying that we should utilize lies for the greater good of society, are you <laughs> making that claim? I'm so glad I'm not dating donated $200. Okay. There's five men about to break into your house to assault you. All six 175 plus pounds. You can choose five women at the table, your choice, or Brian Shure. Six apostrophe eight 454 pounds. Who has the best chance of protecting you? Who is Brian Do they have a Shaw? firearm? Yeah, can Do we I have, have weapons? weapons? Is there a firearm? <laughs> Let's just assume there's not, I think. No, no fire. I'm so I mean, glad I'm not dating. Is there a firearm? Guys, we're women. We have a kitchen. We have soup cans. We'll be okay. I honestly don't <laughs> think either either group could protect me against five men. Yeah. I don't think five women could, yeah. and I don't think you alone could. <laughs> no, it's not me. It's not me. Oh, you're not I'm, Brian? I'm just dying. No, Brian Shaw. He's 6'8". Can, just, eight. Who, can we see? Who is <laughs> Brian <laughs> Shaw? Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he's 6'8". Wait, eight, four is your name not Brian? Four hundred. It is Brian, oh, but he's talking about a Brian. different Brian, I oh, guess. Oh, okay. Great example there. How about Brock Lesnar? That would have been better. <laughs> Who um, who's not as big as Brian Shaw, I guess. Brian Shaw, 6'8", 454 pounds. Who, <laughs> who has the best chance of protecting him? I feel like you could send one of the girls to go get help, so I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. Like uh, I don't, I don't wait, know what Brian Andrew, Shaw looks like. Is he like a can, MMA can fighter? Can you restate your question, Andrew, to her? And but I do want to move on pretty soon if you guys can. Sure, sure, yeah, 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 no problem. So my question is, do you think that lying is good for society? No, I don't think it's good for society. In okay, general. so then why should I tell a lie? Why should you tell? You shouldn't. I mean, no one should. I should. So, so oh. you, keep religion you just out of me life. This. Donated two hundred dollars. Brian, you get so worked up for people not answering questions like age, etc. So, what's your body count? Don't be bad faith. Based off this clip zero. Explain Plaza. Uh, okay. What? What's your uh, body dude, count? We, what's your body count? What's your body count? Hold Brian? on, well, there's a couple things there. First off, dude, we can't pull up like links that you send in. We don't do that. Um, that's not part of the uh, TTS, but uh, four people not answering questions like, hey, so what's your body count? I don't answer the body count question, so mm. I don't, there's not really... Is it really... high? Is it double why? digits? Wait, why? He Triple thinks it's digits? based off this clip zero. Do you, feel like, do you feel like that's not being authentic? Like, do you feel like you're, you're taking away from authenticity and honesty um, and you're contributing to a lying society when you don't share your body count on this platform? Well, your argument... Well, no, that is... wouldn't be a lie if he doesn't share it. Sure, you're you're right. You so how? Right. Wait, it be so why was it wrong for her to not share her age? I'm well, prepared to share my age. Oh, okay. What he said was that the rules of the platform no, were that he wanted to have openness from his guests. That does not require him to instead also be open. None of these things are lies, nor are none of them 
uh, stated under false pretenses. How if you they, can assert how they are, I'd love to hear it. 34. Hmm. Yeah, nothing. So if we Wait, get was back, that a question? No, I, I clarified, that, I clarified that I was just being, being, being funnily condescending. I, it was not founded in like a genuine And I was care. being funnily condescending back. Oh, okay. Word. Life is beautiful. <laughs> what do we? Word. I wow. love when we connect like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, is he making eyes at you right now? Oh my god. Nah, uh, he got okay. that perfect wife at home. All right, I'm no, he totally was not making eyes at her right now. <laughs> what do we? So, um, Andrew, if you're fine with it, I'll just move on unless you do yeah, want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, we can just move if, on. If you, if you want to make the f another point, that's fine, but. It's not a, it's it, not a big deal. Okay. We'll, we'll move it on. Uh, is